we're still on uh, government intervention. We're done with government intervention. Now we want to talk about the advantages of government intervention to the economy. You know, we've said government intervention means government trying to solve market failure. So if these things happen, if government is able to solve this market failure that has occurred through the free markets, what benefits do we stand to gain from this government intervention? The first one, regulate the development of monopolies. So, because f monopoly is more like a f is, a, is a market failure because monopolies they charge exorbitant prices, they charge higher prices, which makes goods and services not affordable for consumers. But if government is coming up, government will intervene by breaking monopoly. So if government breaks monopoly, prices become cheaper. So that's an advantage for consumers. So life becomes bearable for us. Do you get the first point here? Yeah. So the breaking of monopoly makes prices to become affordable for consumers. That's the first advantage of government intervention. The second one, foreign direct investment, FDI. Government cutting taxes. You know, we said government can use taxes to, uh, to intervene. So government might cut taxes to attract multinationals to come set up in the country. So if multinationals are attracted because of low taxes in a country, that increases employment opportunity because when they come, they establish in our country and they employ workers of our country. They employ citizens of our country yeah. to work with them. That's another advantage. The third one, employment itself. Government needs to, uh, government needs to execute all these plans that they have. They cannot execute it without employing people. All what government has to do, government cannot just do it alone. So they cannot do that without employing workers. So it increases employment opportunity. Is it clear? That's the third one. The fourth one, non-profit companies. Government does not want to make profit. So government just wants to ensure that services are delivered to those who need the service. They are not like the free market who provide goods and services for those who can afford it. So here they don't. Government does not care if you have the money or not. Government just wants to deliver services to those that need it. So it is not, they don't care about making profit, mm -hmm. which is an advantage. The fourth one, social welfare. Government, because it is government that is intervening, government would give, would give unemployment benefits to people that don't have a job or those who don't have the ability to work. Government pay them, give them certain grants. So to take care of their well-being, which is good, is an advantage. Clear. Is it clear, please? Yes. Education. You know, the free market, they cannot fund education because there's no incentive to fund it. But government will take care of the educational aspect of the, of the country, which allows us to have vibrant and skilled labor. So government takes charge of education. That's why you have government schools, secondary schools, government, secondary schools, government universities, so that this population, the labor force, can be well-skilled. Mm -hmm. The free market will not do that because they don't do it for free. Yes. Do you understand? Yeah. <laughs> the last one, public goods. Goods that the free market cannot provide, like street light, good road, railway, the free market cannot provide them because of the free riders problem. So government will provide these things. That's why the street light, you see, it is provided by government. Yeah. Is it clear? So these are the advantages we get. From government intervention. So what are the problems of government intervention? The first one, it reduces entrepreneurship and innovation. Mm -hmm. You know, government doesn't want to make profit. So that means government will provide goods that does not even, that is loss making. They don't care if they make profit or not. So government will provide these goods. So if government continues to provide these goods, it means the free or uh, the private sector do not need to find innovative ideas to change the problem. Mm -hmm. Because government is providing it. They are making losses, but they, are con they continue to provide it. Yeah, okay. So because government continues to provide it, we don't have to stress ourselves on it, which is not good. Do you get it? The second one, government bureaucracy. For government bureaucracy, in the government sector, to get things done, they need a lot of paperwork. Oh, he has to sign. She has to sign. They have to sign. You take it around the offices. So this takes time. So decision making is always slow. That is bureaucracy. Yeah. Is it clear? Yeah. The third one, government inefficiency. Government doesn't want to make profit, you know. As a result, those that work for them, they don't have the profit-making incentive. They just want to provide goods. So there's no need for them to, to seek the best value for money. Oh, this money that we are making, are we, using it, are we using it wisely or not? They don't care because they don't care about making profit. So the best value of money is not there. As a result, there might be inefficiency. They are inefficient because they are not making profit. Mm -hmm. So they don't care if there's profit or not. 
They just want to provide services. Either it is profitable or not profitable. The next one. The workers of government, they are always, they are always lazy. They are not hard working. Why? Because government has fixed their pay. The amount of money they make that they get from government is fixed. So they work harder or they don't work harder, they still get the same thing. So they don't have the, the motive to work harder. So their productivity is always low. So when you notice what government workers, they, sometimes they go to work late, sometimes they don't even go. Yes or no? Why? Because they went or they don't, they go or they don't go, they still get the same pay. Yeah. So there's no motive for them to work harder. Right. Is it clear? Yes. And the last one is public sector workers are prote protected. Mm. So whatever they do, they have the trade unions to back them. So with the trade union, they pressurize government to do whatever they want. So government workers, they are so certain that the government cannot just do anything to them because they have the trade unions backing. So these are the problems of government intervention. Are they clear? Yeah. Thank you.